Your boy Kirk. It's the 4th of July. I hope everybody having a great holiday. To those of y'all that was off today, I hope y'all had a great holiday and a great holiday pay. To y'all motherfuckers that had to work today, hope y'all had a great day at work and a great holiday pay. And if y'all don't get holiday pay, oh well. Hey, gotta choose another job. I'm <laughs> just playing, but um, I wanted to come on here and fucking uh, discuss the video that I did last Thursday. I talked about um, Trayvon Martin and my two cents on what I thought about the trial, what I thought about the case. Um, and I got some real mixed reviews. I got a whole bunch of damn hate mail because some people think that I fucking support Trayvon Martin because I'm black. And all I say to that is, you're fucking wrong. I support Trayvon Martin because it's the right thing to do. Because it's a right and wrong thing, not a fucking color thing. Y'all motherfuckers out here trying to make this shit about color. You know, as much as I don't want it to be about color, you motherfuckers make it about color. You really do. You call him a racist thug. How the fuck is Trayvon being racist? Because he called the man, um, Cracker. Like, just last week, you motherfuckers just thought, hmm, Cracker is racist. I don't understand how the fuck that's racist. And then he's 17 year, years old. Cut the boy some damn slap. You know what I'm saying? You motherfuckers sit up here and damn defend damn George Zimmerman to a damn T. Like, you're all on the niggas nuts. You really are. Like, this is George Zimmerman's nuts and this is your damn face. All in his nuts. This, this is you. All in his nuts. Because that's, you know, that's majority of what I got. Talking about Trayvon Martin was a racist thug and he deserved what he got. What the fuck does Trayvon Martin's personal issues have to do with him getting shot. Y'all try to justify his personal issues to the reason why he got shot. That don't have nothing to do with why he got shot. He was walking home from 7-Eleven with his Skittles and iced tea, minding his fucking business when George Zimmerman decides, hmm, I want to be super cop and see what the fuck he doing. Now, all George Zimmerman had to do was sit his ass in his truck and wait for the police to get there. No, George Zimmerman says this, these assholes always get away. And guess what? I, I can bet in his mind, he said, I ain't gonna let this nigga get away. I'm gonna go after him. And that's what the fuck he do. He did. No, stalking is not a fucking crime. No following somebody is not a crime. Okay? I believe they probably got into a little you know, what the fuck you doing following me situation and it, and it just escalated from there. Now if he's saying these assholes get, always get away then I already know what type of motherfucker he is. Because if he said that what I just said earlier I ain't gonna let this nigga get away roll through his mind. Now you motherfuckers that's dick riding George Zimmerman so hard may not think that. But this is what I think and this is what most people think. I mean, do you understand that it actually took people going out here to fucking protest for this man to actually get arrested? If folks wasn't out there wanting justice and stuff out there in the streets for Trayvon Martin, this, this man wouldn't even be in trial right now. He would have just been out here cooling it. And I just feel sorry for the goddamn family because if y'all motherfuckers left me these kind of comments and this type of hate mail in my inbox, I can fucking imagine what the fuck that his family's getting. I mean, the kid is damn deceased. And all you motherfuckers can do is sit up here and side with this man. Knowing that he lied. He's a liar. Period. I mean, he, he, his bruises, he said he got smacked, I mean, pounded on the concrete. 
Well, if he got pounded on the concrete, to me, he it would have left a bigger gash than that. Because motherfuckers in UFC gets fucking elbows, and it leaves a bigger gash than that. I mean, he just had a little scrape. That's it. And then they come find out that was inconsistent to what the fuck George Zimmerman was given. But you motherfuckers still want to defend George Zimmerman. I mean, I thought we was past this shit. You know, I thought we was past the color code. Color coding and shit. I thought we was past that, people. But you motherfuckers don't give Trayvon Martin no kind of chance. You want to sit up here and judge him because he got suspended from school and had little personal issues that 17-year-old kids do. I'm pretty for sure your kids did dumb shit too when they was teenagers. I'm pretty for sure you did dumb ass shit when you was teenagers. But what the fuck does that have to do with him getting um, followed, stalked, and shot down like that? But you want to sit up here and justify his personal issues as to why he got shot. How, how fair is that? Because we don't bring up George Zimmerman personal issues. He told the police that he didn't have no um, criminal record. George Zimmerman got a mug, mug shot. Trayvon Martin ain't never been in trouble with the law. So... I don't understand. I don't understand why there's so much hate towards this kid. I don't understand. Why is there so much hate towards a 17-year-old kid? Now, if it was the foot was on the other shoe, y'all would fucking crucify the shit out of Trayvon Martin. Period. He'd be guilty from the day that the shit happened. No fucking, they, nobody would want to hear nothing he had to fucking say. He'd just be guilty. He wouldn't even need the trial. He'd just go straight to jail. Basically. But no, it had to be Zimmerman. I mean, they didn't even try to arrest the man until everybody got on the street and, you know, justice for Trayvon. Then that's when the cops wanted to say, ah, oh, well, we're going to start arresting him now. Then they let him out on bond. Then, like I said, he lied about not having any money. His dad lied for him. His own wife fucking lied for him. For him. So how the fuck can you believe anything that this lying-ass motherfucker said? But you want to take his word over somebody that's not alive now, based on... Like I said, Trayvon Martin's personal issues. When Trayvon Martin ain't never been in trouble with the law. So, what's, I mean, what's going on? So, you know, I get called an idiot because I'm taking up for Trayvon Martin. Well, I feel like if I'm an idiot, then that makes whoever's, you know, kissing, sucking on George Zimmerman's balls must be... A damn dumbass. Cause you gotta be a dumbass to fucking defend this lying ass motherfucker. You got to. He's lied more than one time. You gave fuck we you know, you gave fucking uh Rachel Gentel a hard time last week. Yeah, I know she was kinda slow, but goddamn. I know she uh lied on a couple of things too, but y'all act like Zimmerman wasn't lying. You, you act like he just innocent. He can't do no wrong to y'all. Okay, Trayvon Martin wasn't a saint. All right. George Zimmerman damn sure wasn't either. And we only get one side of the motherfucking story. One side. And, it, and, it's, and it's crazy that people, you know, um, believe that one side of the story when that one side of the story has been called lying more than one time so I'm just gonna leave it at that cuz I'm gonna come back I'm gonna come back so y'all tell me what y'all think about this motherfuckers calling Trayvon Martin a racist thug when since when the fuck did white people get offended by somebody calling them a cracker and then try to use it as the same as calling somebody a nigga. 
It's not the fucking same. I mean, y'all motherfuckers weren't mad at Chris Rock when he said, crack ass cracker. Was you mad then? No. So why the fuck is you mad now? Don't play the victim role. Please don't play the victim role. Please don't do it, okay? So I'm leave y'all like that. Leave y'all like that. Y'all tell me what you think. Subscribe, like, share, dislike. I don't give a fuck. Um, y'all have a great 4th of July. I'll see y'all later. Take care. Good night. Peace.